Hi Virgo, I hope you're doing well. Um, Virgo, sorry the light is a bit funny today. I've had all sorts of mishaps with it. I've had the light like burning in my face with pure sunlight in moments and then other times the clouds come in really strong so the lights go in here, there and everywhere. So I do apologise. Um, but Virgo, thank you for joining me for your reading. Um, there is no time stamps on these readings. It's not date specific. Um, so if the message finds you and it resonates, it's absolutely fine for whenever you find it in space time. It's all good. Um, please feel free to swap and reverse the characters however you um, are interpreting, interpreting them. Um, if I'm saying one side is the Virgo and then other side is someone else or a different situation, but you're resonating a lot more with the other side, then that's absolutely fine. Just swap and reverse the characters, the situations, however you need to, or however you see fit. Um, it's just so much easier if I sort of interpret it all from one perspective of the story because otherwise it can get really confusing sort of swapping and changing. So it's just easier for me that way. Um, and then last but not least, please don't try and force the message to fit Virgo. Um, if the message is for you, you will truly feel it resonating. You will know it's for you. You won't have to force any of it. You'll be able to put it through your intuition and you'll be like, yes, this is resonating. This is a message for me. And if it's not a message for you, Virgo, then hopefully the next Virgo video will have something for you. So Virgo, before I even start, um, as soon as I uh, disconnected from the Leo energy, because I just did the Leo reading, and connect to yours I got a lot of anxiety straight away come through um but I, I was seeing like the imagery of a mouse uh really strongly like like a really sort of like a like you know like a gentle frail sort of like doesn't doesn't can't deal with like too much right can't deal with too much and so I'm getting like a certain level of anxiety so I, th that, I think that's definitely yours Virgo I don't think it's mine because um like I said I haven't felt it I've just recorded three videos back to back and I haven't felt it once um so we'll see what comes up in the cards but I did just want to sort of sort of state that um so which deck do you want to use with the fairies a nice soft deck while I say that the fairies can be very mischievous actually so <laughs> a message for Virgo please a message for Virgo right two cards okay we've had a collective of pixies and the undressing of a salad reversed so just two seconds Virgo let me just tune into this <clears throat> Okay. See, I say there's no dates or times on these readings because there isn't, all right? So this might be, um, even if you, you know you're watching this a year from, from when this is made and it's a very different world to the world that we're living in right now, um, you know, you can sort of interpret it how, how you need. But there's something in the wider environment, right, that feels like it's all unravelling. And obviously right now, when I'm recording this, um, right now there is a lot going on in the world that, that a lot of us are struggling with. Um, but if obviously this you're watching this in the future and that time has passed, hopefully it has, and things are, you know, relatively back to normal, fingers crossed. Um, something something to do with a with a with a group of people has unraveled quite quickly i want to say it almost feels like like a breakdown of family is what it kind of feels like it feels like a breakdown of a family unit right and it's almost like you've been stripped bare and the only reason i say this and hopefully this will sort of make you chuckle because and hopefully it brings a bit of a lightheartedness to the to the situation. But you see how he's naked here? I just looked at his little bottom and I was like, oh, that's such a cute little bum. Sorry if you can hear my tummy rumble. Um, <laughs> but it's like it, you suddenly feel like naked. It's like suddenly the world is not recognisable to the Virgo anymore. It's like everything shifted and changed so rapidly. A certain support system or... or even if it's not a support system, even if it's been like a toxic family environment, it unraveled so quickly um, because perhaps things, even if they weren't necessarily good, you know, they were just, 
you know they just were how they were like you didn't really see it changing anytime soon but it's like it suddenly unraveled because I'm just seeing this image of like someone pulling a thread on a rug and it's just gone and like the whole thing's just unraveled really really quickly it's like there was a loose thread and something happened something triggered to pull that thread and it's caused everything else to unravel right and Virgo is like left feeling naked you know, I was seeing that image before of like a mouse, right? And a, the mouse almost represents like a like a level of anxiety, because like the mouse's heart beats so quickly, right? It's like a flutter. It's just like so fast. So often it can be symbolic of, of the level of anxiety that we're experiencing. And um, like mice, you know, most mice are very communal. Like they're very social. Um, you know, mice have many many children. Sorry if you can you hear my neighbour, they're putting recycling out. Um, you know, mice have many, many children, right? So it could be that what I'm looking at here is someone who might have like quite a big family unit. Um you yeah, quite a big family unit. Um some sort of a you know, it doesn't have to be a blood family either, right? Okay, it doesn't have to necessarily be like that. Um, but it feels like something happened to unravel it quite quickly or it's not that it's okay it kind of feels like Virgo oh, do you know I feel really bad because your last reading I'm pretty sure it was the Virgo was really intense as well it was really quite intense and it was probably the most intense one that I've done out of any of the readings so far on my channel as a whole and this one feels like it might be going down a sort of similar route I don't think those two readings are connected at all but I feel like we're we're dealing with a bit of more of a shadow reading here. Don't get frightened, Virgo. It's nothing bad. Um, but what I mean by shadow is it's it's um it's the darker elements, it's the heavier emotions that we have to process as human beings, right? Because I'm almost feeling like this might be that like a, a a death has happened, right? And if that has happened to you, Virgo, I'm so incredibly sorry and I send so much of my love to you. I send so much of my love to you um, and I hope that this reading is going to offer you some level of comfort because what I was going to say was it feels like something happened right if it's not that then that you know that's good but if, if it is what I just mentioned it feels like something happened something negative something dramatic happened that's caused an unraveling of what you perceive to be a very secure unit a very secure setting environment support system and it's like everyone is just running around in total chaos like headless chickens and everyone's beside themselves no one knows what to do it's just complete chaos and carnage there's so much going on in this in this photo so much and everything's just been flipped upside down it's like your whole world Virgo, has just been flipped it's like someone's just walked into the room flipped the table and it's just like chaos and no one knows what to do, everyone's feeling scared, everyone's feeling emotional, everyone's feeling vulnerable, everyone's feeling detached, but it wants to come through like, you're all still connected, right? You're all still connected, you're all still, I uh, sorry, I, I connect so deeply to the readings when I'm doing them, it's like, I get really strong emotions that come through, and I'm just like feeling like the the kind of heaviness and and almost like the relief that came through when, when I just kind of got the message that I did. It's like you're still connected. And although it seems like things are falling apart right now, Virgo, they're not. Like they are, they are in a huge way. I'm not I'm not saying that they're not. There is something that has obviously happened here that is very hard to get through very hard to deal with i know obviously i said it, it was maybe someone passing away it might not be that for you it might be something else um but there's so there's something you know in that kind of an environment maybe someone has gone into hospital ill or um you, you know or maybe there's um a child that is is going down a route that that you you're you don't know how to guide them away from, you know, it, it's that kind of area of life that we're dealing with, right? You know, like I said, it's a general reading, so it's going to be different for a lot of people. Um, but although it feels like everything's fallen apart, the people that are left, the people that are still here, right, will get through this. You're still connected. 
your connections are going to be even stronger after this even stronger literally it's like i can see the 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 rug like unraveling right but it's like as the rug unravels as that thread unravels it's almost being sent through like a, a machine and the machine is causing this thread to just come out the other end and it's just glowing it's like now almost like this thread is imbued with a certain level of spirit or a certain level of magic it's like wrapped in like gold light now it's like wrapped in gold light and that is going to cause a re-threading of a new tapestry of your life of a new tapestry of the connections that are in this reading and that is going to be even stronger on the other side right but you're you're not there just yet and that is why it feels so painful or that is why it feels so anxiety inducing that's why it feels so heavy so frightening so scary right sorry it's really heavy energy um but that that's like the hope that's coming through that's what they're kind of wanting to tell you virgo and i really hope this provides comfort for someone i really do because i'm really seeing such a beautiful image of of it's like it gets sent through this processor right there's a process you've got to go through virgo like there's just a process that has to be gone through a a a, a it's like time heals all wounds right virgo time heals all wounds even though it might not feel like it at the time but the process has to be gone through like there's steps right that have to be gone through of an, of an emotional process sorry i'm getting like dead legs because i've done like three videos already um there is a process that you've got to go through and you've just got to be so patient with that virgo and unfortunately it might be so hard it might be painful it might be difficult confusing frightening but this process is necessary for like the transmutation of it right it is necessary for this 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 end outcome to be achieved if you don't go through the process in the correct way you know it's like the thread if the machine doesn't do its thing and it doesn't process the thread the experience the way it needs to be then when it comes out the other end it's not going to be produced to the standard that that it is meant to be does that make sense i hope that makes sense for someone um but the other side, Virgo, the other side is so beautiful. It's so beautiful, right? It's, <sighs> do you know, there's like, cause this is a general reading that there's often like different layers of messages that come through. So I know sometimes I might end up jumping between them, but you can read this, this all, almost in like two ways, right? If you've lost someone, Virgo, the thread can almost represent the other side, right? And it's interesting because your reading last time was also about mediumship, right? It was about spirit activity. I've never had that in any of my readings. Um, but it was a really heavy reading, totally different to this one. I don't think those two are related, but it's interesting that we're having like very similar mediumship, spirit activity kind of themes and 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 all that. Um, so I feel like I need to say it because it feels like there's one person watching out there that needs to hear it the other side right that process that someone's gone through if they have passed is so beautiful virgo it is so beautiful it's like this glowing just beacon of joy of love of warmth of light there's no there's no imperfections on the other side right after that process there's no imperfections right someone needed to hear that um now if we just bring the reading back back to another level right and we go back to this idea of um or this theme of going through a process that you need to go through virgo to transmute your own feelings and and the experience um once you've gone through that process as i said i know i'm repeating myself um but i feel like this is needed more like a video of comfort for someone um and i hope it's providing it for you virgo um by going through that process, by all of you going through that process, you're all going to come out the other side so much more connected and so much more stronger. I just want to pull another card because I got really drawn to this other deck. And plus, I'm so I've pulled like two cards in 15 minutes. 
this is why I just read intuitively it's just it's just yeah the cards are just more like symbolism to bounce off of um right so you had the sun and then you had the eight of cups Two seconds, Virgo. Okay. So you know I was saying that obviously something's happened that's caused this this big unraveling or what feels like a massive unraveling, right? You might also be making this happen, Virgo, right? So you might be one of these individuals as well that's turning your back from this Eight of Cups here. So let's say the Eight of Cups is representing a family unit, right? Or it's representing a group of people or a support system that you're very connected to. It's like either you're all turning away from one another because of this experience that you're going through, or you, it's just you're turning away more than the others, right? Interpret it however, however you want, Virgo. But there is an element of, like I was saying, this unravelling of social connection or unravelling of a family. But the advice, Virgo, is turn towards the sun, turn back towards the sun, right? The sun in this case is representing our life source, right? Representing our life source, our vitality, the thing that provides us warmth, right? The thing that provides us a feeling of safety, the thing that nourishes us, that protects us, that encourages us to grow, right? Whatever this is representing for you. You need to turn towards the sun again, Virgo. You need to turn back towards the sun. Don't turn away for too long. Process how you need to process, but don't turn away for too long because you, a plant can only go so long without the sun, right? A plant can only go so long without that life force, without that life source. So you can only spend a certain level of time in the shadows, Virgo. You can only spend a certain level of time in the darkness before you need the sun before you need to turn back to it to get that light to get that warmth to get that support and you know how i was saying before about i was seeing that thread and it was like this pure golden thread that's what this is right that's what this social connection is this pure warm golden thread however that fits into your life whatever that is for you whatever represents the sun for you you know before i was interpreting it as family but you interpret it however it's fitting um but you have to turn towards it now. You can't turn away for too long because, as I said, it's going to cause more damage than good because that is a lifeline for you and you need that. One second, Virgo. I just want to... I want to... Right, yeah, you're the sixth... That's what I was thinking. You're the sixth astrological sign, right? And the sixth house often represents family, right? So you need you need family or you need, even if it's not blood family, right? Even if it's just friendship family or it's an extended family in work, you know, you just, you love where you work and you just get on with everyone and it's great or, or it's, it's um, you know, a pet even that you look after, you know? Some people, some people feel more connected to animals than they do humans, you know? everyone's different but you need that support from other people right you need that stability but this does feel primarily like family okay like it it feels like a very specific message today so it won't be for everyone um but i have a feeling that this turning point right that this turning point of the process is going to happen quite soon because i'm seeing like these two individuals are starting to turn towards each other now it's like you and your family are going to start healing from this experience you're going to start coming back together you're going to start being warm to one another again it might have felt really cold for a long time because everybody's out everybody's out there processing in their own way dealing with it in their in their own manner right everyone deals with trauma in, in very different ways but it's like you're you're all now sort of reaching that turning point in the wheel where you're all starting to turn back in towards one another 
and starting to show the warmth again. You're going to start feeling that warmth again, Virgo, between you and your loved ones. And you're going to start to heal, right? Because the, plant, the plants heal with the sun, right? And you're going to start healing and you and your family are going to start healing very, very soon, Virgo. I don't think you're going to have much longer, I'd say. Yeah, maybe one to two weeks is kind of what I'm hearing. I know that's quite specific, but a bit more time, Virgo, and, and things will start to brighten. The load, the darkness, the, e the, the heaviness will start to brighten and lighten. And you'll feel a return of the sun between you and your family. Okay, Virgo, that was very specific. Very heavy as well. I feel really bad because obviously your last reading was, was really specific and, and really heavy as well. Um, yeah. Um, Virgo, I really hope that you enjoyed that reading. I hope there was something in there for you. Um, I hope it reaches the person that it was meant to reach. Um, if, if you feel that you really resonated with this, um, you know, please contact me on my Instagram, the Celtic Fairy. Um, I don't turn the comments on for YouTube. Um, but if you, if, if this does resonate for someone out there, it would, it would really, I would love to hear from you. It would be really nice. So feel free to inbox me on the Celtic Fairy on Instagram. Um, but yeah, Virgo, I'm sending you so much love and so much light and gentleness and warmth. Um, and stay strong, Virgo. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Lots of love, my darling.